real sultry today, humid. You can't feel it on the camp on on this video, but this is my go-to tripod. It's an old one, old slick. I've got a couple of them, but um, yeah, it's, it's seen the test of time. If I could, if if it was living, I could tell you some stories. Yeah, that stag was down there, about 500 metres down there, right in the thick stuff. And the, this is the um, noctavids and the case. Man, you can take that off. It just protects it from getting knocks. And so I've only got a on demo, and um, so you just. If you want, just take it off your head. So it protects the outer part of the optics and then you've got your objective lens and covers and yeah, and eye, eye, eyepiece ones. Love the eye caps, they not notchy, you don't they're not loose or anything like that. Your autofocus ring beautiful you can adjust it to your eye 10 b 42 is an octave it's as i say i love magnification i, I still have my like as uh duravids but this for, who's this for all round i would say um go away on holidays it's only weighs around about 840 grams under a kilo um packs up neatly if, if like if when I'm up here, I, I, this is the uh, Leica adapter and it fits every, all binoculars as long as they're cylindrical. Just put that on there. If you're hunting, it's good. You just go like that. Then you just adjust it. I use these on the Jurovids too. And then you just look down and when you're fixed on a, on a deer or whatever, um, what are the deer doing now? Do you know what? They're conserving their energies. It's a real warm day, like energy you wouldn't believe. So they they'll um, just lay up until it gets cooler and a little, a little, not much sunlight. Um, then they'll move. They've got to eat. They've got to drink. The elixir of life is always water. Um, yeah, but oh, they, these are so, so sharp. I see things in this that I, as I said, photographer. I'm a photographer for birding and that. Brilliant. Just to identify your different birds, you might be a, even a smaller um, uh, honey eater or something like that you, to identify it. Uh, the Pardalo the other day, it, we, you know, it's good. There's plenty on YouTube about it. Look, I can go into all the technical details with the binoculars. Um, this is this is this is the top end, top end of optics for binoculars. Like a make cameras, but um, and brilliant. Uh, I get away, I'm filming on a Nikon at the moment, the Nikon Z9, which is even better again. This morning I had the um, I had the uh, P1000, Nikon P1000. There's just birds flying around here. And it's like, just, just to, to my, I'll, I'll film it, fresh rub. I wouldn't be surprised it's not that stag down there. I could see a little bit of gingery colour bark on his antlers this morning which I'll show you later but what what makes these samba good they get into thick stuff and very rarely you see them they're laying up and they'll lay up like this as I say dear o'clock they'll probably lay up till um, maybe an hour before dark when it cools a little cools off a little bit then they, they they travel to where they have to go to get food, browse on. Certain times of year, they'll 
See here, we've got an abundance, so I've filmed um, a day, or technical terms, hind, sand behind, eating um, caprosma this morning. And it's sweet, there's everything here. Um, caprosma, um, doing speedwell, wild, uh, wild rose, an abundance of uh, grasses and all that. Um, yeah. So I, I, later on, the winter, blackberries are starting to bud now, given another couple more months, and um, the, the deer will be looking for blackberries. And this is another thing, you know. Uh, you know, this area I've been hunting here for over 30 years, and, and it's got thicker. The deer just contour in, they don't destroy the area. Contrary to what big parks do, they do more destroying where they're poisoned, killing platypuses and everything else. Used to see platypuses 30 years ago, but they're like rare, to, rare as anything. Um, I was filming a pair of uh, wedge tail eagles in Wanagata a couple of years ago, and then uh, all of a sudden all, uh, the, the rabbits in there got, went. I don't know whether it was, I don't know what they're using, be something sinister. Um, Go figure. Wedge tail eagle, the scavenger. You'll eat the rabbit's lace with 1080 or whatever. And um, that's the, the miniature of all your raptors. We have dickheads in parks. Not all, there's some good ones, but they're few and far between. Uh, um, you can see this is here a few months ago, this is lush and green. Grass hadn't even come to seed, but um, another another few weeks of this dry weather, and uh, we're going to have fires again. I remember in 2007 the fires that de devastated this area. A lot of dead deer, a lot of dead everything. Um, people lost their lives too. Can't help yourself. Got to keep looking. As I say this morning, that stag, all I could pick up was an antler. And antlers look like sticks, but it's just the formation of it. Right in the thick stuff. And after about 10 minutes through these, picked it up. I actually seen the antler through these, with, from, me, from my... I was probably 300 metres away. And, uh, yeah, that's an ant, like I said. And then, then there was a tad of, I seen a bit of movement of the ear. And the antler moved. That's how I got it. It's imperative that you have good quality optics. And it, better with some optics, as I said, as I say, the budget. You know, it goes to the budget. If you're a serious hunter, the budget shouldn't matter. As I said, I've had, I've had Lycus for probably over 30 years. I had Trinitris, I've had Juravids, and these are the Noctavids. Um, probably pros and cons that I'll, I, I, I like, I, honestly, I like olive. But they, they like to make olive one. If you want olive, you can get it. You want to, um, some of the, um, the optics now they've got, is, they, they haven't just dilly dally. They've gone head with um, their geovids. They've got range finders. Uh, um, the, the, the monoxon, like monopod one or whatever you want to call it, just the, the CF range finder. Then they've got the geovids. Then they've got um, these noctovids. Got, I think they still make trim trips. They've got an array of optics to, to suit your needs, horses for courses. Um, as I said, you can go on YouTube. Look, the best thing I, I could suggest, you get a chance, if someone's got a pair of Noctovids or um, Geovids, try them out. Um, you'll be pleasantly surprised how good they are compared. Now, give it another... Uh, well, it's only... I know what time it is now, but uh, later on, 
you'll find see but the bush budgies are red. That's one thing I love about winter. And just as I said, yeah. Lost train of thought there. The, the, like this morning, that's the only thing I, I trying to look through the binos and the, the flies are getting in your eyes and gnawing how they it. But um, that's one thing about hunt, hunting in the winter you don't have to put up with snakes and flies, March flies, heat. Oh, plus you're sweating. Oh, I, I, I've changed now, but I, this morning it was quite cool. I, it rained. Um, yeah, four seasons in one, and, and I can just see it over the back there now. It's gonna, it's gonna rain. So I've got to get out of here, otherwise I'll get stuck. I'm down on this ridge down here, and I drove as far as I could. Once upon a time, I probably walked it, but I'm um, getting older. I've got to conserve the legs. God, I've seen some deer in this valley over the years. Probably some of my best footage is taken in here in the early 2000s. Oh, I was filmed before that, but uh, just the interaction between that stag and myself was unreal. And I had binoculars then. I think I had Simmons. They lasted about 12 months. Then I had bush snorts. Here it comes. Just beautiful just to be here. As I said, you can't f feel it on video, but it's... Yeah, I'll have to get out of here. I've got to... If this rains on that wet, muddy track there, that'll be slippery as buggery. Plus, there's a good possibility of lightning god strike. But, um, yeah... It's just a beautiful area. Oh, I, was, I, I did a video um, last week weekend. I went up to Horshard Flat and I went down Billy Gates. So I should put that on a bit too. That um, that was quite interesting. I did the whole entire video of the whole trip down, which took over well over an hour. Um, and, um, blew it, blew the rim, blew the tire off the rim. Uh, I was going to Wanagata, but changed my mind because I didn't have a spare but interesting I've been up three times I've been up up it twice and down at once I think going up's a lot better than going down and um, no damage to the vehicle but just uh, yeah hair raising it was that long weekend Melbourne Cup weekend too so anyway, what's the date today the 13th of November yeah, you rumbling now I've seen over the years seen deer come right up here. But there are opportunities browsers that they'll come if you know the plants, you'll find you'll find the deer. Um, their favourite colour is green. Anything that's green that's eatable. That's what well, they think in here. Well, they eat everything. I've seen them eating gum leaves. Um, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to go and want to go and catch up with a few mates and didn't get there because of that, um, what's her name? They see I've got a bit of red on the day pack just in case someone sees me walking around and a bit of blaze orange now down to his shirt. Just in case there's hunters in here. Not many, but pretty steep going. Not today, there wouldn't be. It's a Wednesday. Best time to hunt on the weekdays, not for weekends. Yeah, and I, a few k's away here. I went there last night. I, I seen a, I seen eight or nine deer last night. Managed to do a bit of filming some hinds. You pick them up. I could see them walking through the bush with these. It gets darker. That's when the these these shine in brilliance. Where your where your inferior binoculars, which you go and buy for a, two or three hundred bucks. Um, plus, they damage your eyes too. You've got to have you've got to have good glass. I noticed with the inferior ones we had in the early days, I'd be rubbing my eyes and blurry. I was a young guy, so 
got away with it a bit. My eyes are still all right. Um, but what I suggest um, is to try them out. If you've got a mate at it, even go to a store, try them out. Not through the at the store. You're not going to look at. You need to look at bush. Um, you need to look at things where you where you can't can't see the animals with a, a lesser light optics. You know, you look out in the street and see a sign. That that's fine. If all they all do that. This equation is light, light and luminance coming through there. I, look honestly, I, I've reviewed the. Um, uh, Swarovski NL Pures. I think they were, I'm not sure, 10 before. Now, there's our Pardlo here. Um, brilliant. It comes down to personal preference. What's good for your eye? I, I, I reason I like Leica is because I like the natural colour. There's a little tinge of yellow, which may help with luminance. I don't know. I'm not a technical person that way. I use them. Um, but yeah, the, look, just the weight. I, I can just throw these in the car, um, go out bird watching when I'm doing my photo, photographing, just dive there and stuff. Even at the at the beach, you know, looking for white pointers. Uh, they're excellent for white pointers. Um, whale watching, um, just anything. Sports go like horse racing. Uh, these are brilliant. They're not easy to hold in your hand. The weight, as I said, I, I, no, no chromatic. I didn't see no chromatic aberration whatsoever. That's fringing around it. They're like all optics, you, you, you'll get because they're concave. There will be sharpness in the centre of the of the lens, and it'll, but these are pretty good. I mean, you got to look at the size of your lenses if you can do that. But these, you can hear it snap. Anyhow, it's time to go because I'm spots of rain and I've got to get out of here before it gets any worse. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. I'll put up that, that stag footage I took this morning and a few other deer I got yesterday, late yesterday afternoon uh, spotted with the um, Leica Noctovids. Love, love these Noctovids. As I said, who are these for? There's a parrot just got up. Beautiful rub just down here. I could, just around the corner, I filmed that stag this morning. Stag I probably filmed early in March in velvet, and now he's just about ready to cast. He's scarred up, he's losing his, losing his um, hair follicles. Yeah, so, yeah, as I said, the Noctovids. Now, I've, I've had this, uh, ooh, not that good. Got to get out of here because if it rains, I might get, mightn't get the vehicle there. But um, the adapter, like an adapter, it fits all binoculars, but I use it for the binoculars and the video camera. So it uh, does a great job. Let's see, that's this year's rub. There was a good stag in here, but I haven't seen him for about, oh, I've been here a couple of times. Um, beautiful, beautiful head, but there's another one down there at the moment, isolated. There was, I spotted the hinds this morning, about eight or nine hinds, and a couple of spikes, one rubbing. I was going to film it, but I didn't bother. But um, yeah, you must have some form of binocular, whether it's, this is the top end. These are the, the lifetime, life, virtually for life. You can go and buy the um, generic ones and um, you get it a lot cheaper, but, um, and they hold the value too. Um, I said I had the, my Leica Duravids, I, I love the bits, that um, use that. F filming and and glass and deer and yeah, it's brilliant. I'll get to the car and 
Now you can see the rain over there now. So I've got to get out of here and get off that track. Lots of rain now. It's best to get out of the place when a storm comes. Just junk it all in.